Dear friends, in this video, we will discuss about 1. Importance of Construction Equipment Productivity 2. Factors Influencing Construction Equipment Productivity 3. Key Performance Indicators, KPIs, for Construction Equipment Productivity 4. Challenges and Solutions for Enhancing Equipment Productivity Without wasting more time, now we are starting present different topic. What is Construction Equipment Productivity? Construction Equipment Productivity refers to the efficiency and effectiveness with which construction equipment is utilized to complete a specific task or project. It is a measure of how much work can be accomplished within a given time frame, considering factors such as equipment performance, operator skills, project planning, and resource management. Higher productivity in construction equipment means that more work can be completed in less time, resulting in cost savings, increased project efficiency, and improved profitability. It involves optimizing the utilization of construction equipment to maximize output while minimizing downtime, delays, and inefficiencies. Factors influencing construction equipment productivity include 1. Equipment Selection Choosing the right equipment for the task at hand, considering factors such as capacity, power, maneuverability, and specialized features. 2. Maintenance and reliability, regular maintenance and inspections to ensure equipment is in optimal condition, minimizing breakdowns and maximizing uptime. 3. Operator skill and training, well-trained operators who are proficient in handling the equip equipment efficiently, minimizing errors and maximizing productivity. 4. Project Planning and Scheduling Effective planning and scheduling of tasks, ensuring that equipment is utilized to its full potential and minimizing idle time. 5. Site Organization and Logistics Efficient organization of the construction site, proper equipment placement, and effective material handling to minimize time wasted in moving equipment and materials. 6. Technology Adoption, Integration of Advanced Technologies such as GPS, Telematics, and Automation to Improve Equipment Performance, Precision, and Productivity. 7. Resource Management, Effective Coordination of Labor, Equipment, and Materials, Ensuring that Resources are Allocated Optimally and Delays Due to Resource Shortages are Minimized. Improving construction equipment productivity requires a holistic approach that addresses these factors and focuses on continuous improvement and optimization throughout the construction process. By enhancing productivity, construction companies can complete projects more efficiently, meet deadlines, and achieve better profitability. What are the key performance indicators of construction equipment productivity? Key performance indicators, KPIs, are essential metrics used to measure and evaluate construction equipment productivity. They provide a quantifiable way to assess the efficiency, utilization, and effectiveness of equipment in construction projects. Here are some common KPIs for construction equipment productivity. 1. Equipment Utilization Rate measures the percentage of time that equipment is actively used for productive work. It is calculated by dividing the actual equipment usage time by the available working hours. 2. Equipment cycle time measures the time it takes for equipment to complete a specific task or cycle. It is often used to evaluate the efficiency of repetitive tasks, such as excavation or material handling. 3. Equipment productivity ratio compares the output or work accomplished by the equipment to the resources, time, labor, and fuel invested. It provides insights into the effectiveness of the equipment in generating output. 4. Operator Efficiency measures the productivity and effectiveness of equipment operators. It considers factors such as operator skill, adherence to best practices, and the ability to operate equipment efficiently. 5. Energy Consumption This metric assesses the energy efficiency of equipment by measuring the amount of energy consumed during a specific production period. It is crucial for sustainability and cost-saving efforts. Monitoring and analyzing these indicators can provide valuable insights into equipment productivity, identify areas for improvement, and support data-driven decision-making. What is Equipment Utilization Rate? Equipment Utilization Rate is a key performance indicator that measures the percentage of time a piece of equipment is actively utilized for productive work during a specific period. It indicates how efficiently equipment is used 
and how much of its available time is spent on productive tasks. The formula for calculating equipment utilization rate is as follows. Equipment utilization rate is equal to actual equipment usage time divided by available working hours multiplied by 100. In this formula, Time's actual equipment usage time refers to the total time the equipment was actively used for productive work. Time's available working hours represent the total time during which the equipment was available for use. For example, let's say our excavator is was available for 400 hours in a month and it was actively used for productive work for 320 hours during that time. The equipment utilization rate would be calculated as follows. Equipment utilization rate is equal to 320 hours divided by 400 hours multiplied by 100 equal to 80%. In this case, the equipment utilization rate is 80%, indicating that the excavator was utilized for productive work 80% of the available working hours. A higher equipment utilization rate generally indicates more efficient use of equipment, maximizing its output and contributing to improved project productivity and cost effectiveness. It also helps identify potential idle time, allowing for adjustments in scheduling, allocation, or resource planning to enhance overall equipment productivity. What is equipment cycle time? Equipment cycle time refers to the duration or time required for a piece of equipment to complete a specific task or cycle. It measures the efficiency and speed at which equipment performs its designated operations. The cycle time is typically defined based on the nature of the task or the specific process being executed. The equipment cycle time can vary depending on the type of equipment and the task it is performing. For example, in construction, equipment cycle time can be measured for activities such as excavation, concrete pouring, material handling, or compaction. Here are a few examples of equipment cycle time. 1. Excavator Cycle Time The time it takes for an excavator to complete a cycle, which typically involves digging, loading, swinging, and dumping material. 2. Concrete Pump Cycle Time The time required for a concrete pump to complete a cycle, including the delivery and placement of concrete. 3. Crane Cycle Time The time it takes for a crane to complete a cycle, which involves lifting, moving, and placing heavy loads. 4. Conveyor Cycle Time the duration it takes for a conveyor system to transport materials or products from one point to another. The measurement and optimization of equipment cycle time are crucial for improving project productivity and efficiency. By reducing cycle time, construction processes can be completed faster, leading to shorter project durations and potential cost savings. Analyzing equipment cycle time can help identify bottlenecks, inefficiencies, or areas where equipment performance can be enhanced through process improvement, operator training, or equipment upgrades. It is important to note that equipment cycle time should be considered in conjunction with other factors such as equipment utilization, operator skill, and project scheduling to obtain a comprehensive understanding of overall equipment productivity. What is Equipment Productivity Ratio? Equipment productivity ratio is a key performance indicator that compares the output or work accomplished by a piece of equipment to the resources invested in it. It provides insights into the effectiveness and efficiency of the equipment in generating output and achieving project goals. The equipment productivity ratio is typically calculated by dividing the output or work accomplished by the resources invested, such as time, labor, or fuel. The specific formula for calculating the ratio can vary based on the context and the desired measurement. Here are a few examples of equipment productivity ratios. 1. Output per hour. This ratio measures the amount of output or work accomplished by the equipment in a specific time frame, usually per hour. It can be calculated by dividing the total output achieved by the equipment, example, tons of material moved, square meters of concrete poured by the number of hours the equipment was in operation. operation. 2. Output per unit of fuel. This ratio evaluates the efficiency of the equipment in terms of fuel consumption and output. It is calculated by dividing the total output achieved by the equipment by the amount of fuel consumed during that period. 3. Output per labor hour. This ratio assesses the productivity of the equipment in relation to labor input. 
It is calculated by dividing the total output achieved by the equipment by the number of labor hours invested in operating or managing the equipment. These are just a few examples for the equipment productivity ratio. The ratio helps evaluate the cost effectiveness, efficiency, and overall performance of the equipment. By analyzing and monitoring the equipment productivity ratio, project managers and stakeholders can make informed decisions regarding resource allocation, equipment selection, and process optimization to improve overall project productivity. What is Equipment Operator Efficiency? Equipment Operator Efficiency refers to the measure of how effectively and productively an equipment operator performs their tasks and responsibilities. It evaluates the operator's ability to utilize the equipment, follow best practices, and achieve desired outcomes efficiently. Operator efficiency plays a significant role in maximizing equipment productivity and overall project performance. Several factors contribute to equipment operator efficiency, including 1. Skill and competence. Operator efficiency is influenced by the level of skill, knowledge, and experience the operator possesses. A skilled operator can operate the equipment proficiently, make precise movements, and optimize performance. 2. Training and Education Adequate training and ongoing professional development programs ensure operators are equipped with the necessary knowledge and skills to operate equipment safely, efficiently, and according to best practices. 3. Adherence to Standard Operating Procedures SOPS operator efficiency is enhanced when operators follow established SOPS and safety protocols. Consistently adhering to proper procedures helps minimize errors, accidents, and downtime. 4. Equipment familiarity. Familiarity with the specific equipment being operated enables the operator to navigate controls, optimize settings, and troubleshoot issues effectively, resulting in improved efficiency. 5. Communication and collaboration. Effective communication and collaboration between operators and other project team members contribute to operator efficiency. Clear instructions, coordination, and feedback promote smoother operations and minimize delays. 6. Proactive Maintenance and Inspection Operators who actively participate in equipment maintenance and inspection activities can help identify and address issues early, reducing unexpected breakdowns and optimizing equipment performance. 7. Time and Task Management Efficient equipment operators prioritize tasks, manage their time effectively, and optimize equipment utilization. They understand project requirements, deadlines, and strive to achieve maximum productivity within the given constraints. Measuring equipment operator efficiency involves evaluating factors such as task completion time, adherence to quality standards, equipment utilization, and adherence to safety protocols. By monitoring and enhancing operator efficiency, construction projects can achieve improved productivity, reduced downtime, enhanced safety, and cost-effectiveness. What is Energy Consumption KPI of Construction Equipment? Energy consumption is an important key performance indicator, KPI, in the construction industry as it directly impacts the operational costs and environmental sustainability of construction equipment. The specific KPIs related to energy consumption can vary depending on the type of construction equipment. Here are a few common energy consumption KPIs for construction equipment. 1. Fuel Efficiency Fuel consumption is a major component of energy consumption in construction equipment. Measuring fuel efficiency as a KPI helps evaluate how effectively equipment utilizes fuel to perform tasks. It can be expressed as fuel consumption per hour of operation or fuel consumption per unit of work completed. 2. Energy Intensity Energy intensity measures the amount of energy consumed per unit of output or work done by the equipment. It can be calculated as energy consumed, example, kilowatt hours, divided by the quantity of work completed, example, cubic meters of concrete poured or area of land excavated. 3. Idle time. Idle time refers to the period when equipment is running but not actively engaged in productive work. Monitoring idle time as a KPI helps identify opportunities to reduce energy waste. By minimizing idle time, energy consumption can be optimized leading to cost savings and increased productivity. 4. Load Factor Load Factor measures the percentage of a machine's capacity that is being utilized during its operation. 
Higher load factors indicate better energy efficiency since the machine is operating closer to its optimal capacity. Tracking load factors can help identify instances of underutilization or overloading, allowing for adjustments to optimize energy consumption. 5. Energy Monitoring Systems Implementing energy monitoring systems in construction equipment can provide real-time data on energy consumption. These systems can track energy usage patterns, identify areas of high consumption, and help operators and managers make informed decisions to optimize energy efficiency. It's important to note that these KPIs are not exhaustive and may vary based on the specific equipment, project requirements, and organizational goals. By monitoring and improving energy consumption KPIs, construction companies can reduce operational costs, minimize environmental impact, and enhance sustainability in their construction activities. What are challenges and solutions for enhancing equipment productivity? Enhancing equipment productivity in construction projects can come with various challenges. However, identifying these challenges and implementing effective solutions can lead to improved equipment performance and overall project efficiency. Here are some common challenges and potential solutions for enhancing equipment productivity. 1. Equipment Breakdowns and Downtime Challenge, unexpected breakdowns and equipment failures can disrupt project timelines and productivity. Solution, implement proactive maintenance programs, conduct regular inspections, and perform timely repairs to minimize equipment downtime. Utilize condition monitoring techniques and predictive maintenance technologies to identify potential issues before they lead to breakdowns. 2. Inefficient Equipment Utilization Challenge, equipment may not be optimally utilized, leading to idle time and reduced productivity. Solution, conduct thorough project planning and scheduling to ensure equipment is allocated efficiently. Optimize equipment usage through proper sequencing, coordination and task prioritization. Consider sharing equipment between multiple projects to maximize utilization. 3. Operator Skill and Training Challenge, inadequate operator skill and training can result in lower equipment productivity and increased errors. Solution Provide comprehensive operator training programs to improve skill levels and familiarity with equipment. Offer ongoing training opportunities to keep operators updated on new technologies and best practices. Encourage certification programs to validate operator competence. 4. Ineffective equipment selection Challenge, choosing equipment that is not well suited for project requirements can lead to inefficiencies and reduced productivity. Solution, conduct a thorough equipment needs assessment for each project. Consider factors such as capacity, capabilities, and suitability for specific tasks. Involve equipment experts and consult with suppliers to ensure the right equipment is selected. 5. Poor Communication and Coordination Challenge, inadequate communication and coordination among project stakeholders can result in delays, equipment conflicts, and reduced productivity. Solution, establish clear lines of communication and protocols for sharing information among team members. Conduct regular coordination meetings to align project activities and equipment requirements. Utilize project management tools and technology for real-time collaboration. 6. Limited access to equipment and resources. Challenge, insufficient availability of equipment, materials, or resources can hinder productivity. Solution, plan and procure equipment and resources well in advance to avoid delays. Maintain good relationships with suppliers to ensure timely availability. Optimize inventory management to avoid shortages and excesses. 7. Adverse weather conditions. Challenge, inclement weather conditions can disrupt construction activities and impact equipment productivity. Solution, develop contingency plans for weather-related disruptions. Consider weather forecasts in project scheduling and adapt work activities accordingly. Provide protective measures for equipment during adverse weather conditions. 8. Technology Integration and Adoption Challenge, reluctance or lack of awareness regarding technology integration can limit equipment productivity improvements. Solution, encourage the adoption of construction technology solutions such as telematics, GPS tracking and equipment management software. 
educate stakeholders on the benefits of technology, including improved equipment monitoring, data-driven decision-making, and efficiency gains. By addressing these challenges and implementing appropriate solutions, construction projects can enhance equipment productivity, reduce downtime, improve project timelines, and achieve better overall project outcomes. It is important to analyze project-specific challenges and tailor the solutions accordingly to maximize the effectiveness of the strategies. Friends, we have explained in brief about construction equipment productivity, key performance indicator for equipment productivity and challenges and solutions for enhancing equipment productivity maintenance. We request all to mention your view and requirement in comment section of YouTube video also like and share to your friend. If you require PDF version of this video, kindly mention your name, mobile number and email in comment section. Also subscribe our YouTube channel Infra Mechanizer, this is 100% free.